we've got a disclaimer as Marifado uh, Family Network. All the content in this video is created and published online for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice and should not be relied on as a health or personal advice. Why? You should not wear sunglasses unless you know something. This is a Ipeti Isut University Papyrus Volume 19, 12, which deals with uh, uh, sunglasses. We want to take care of our eyes. It is wise to strengthen your eyes with herbal foods taken daily, herbals taken internally as well as externally, and daily eye exercises, irregular massage and uh, medical uh, checks to be sure why you may not wear sunglasses you must know your eye type your eye color tells you your eye type if you have lighter eye color your eyes are more sensitive to light because you have a less pigment and less carbon less melanin in your irises to protect your eyes from uh, the sun once you know your eye color, your eye type, you must then relate it to the sun and understand the irregular movement of the sun and the force of light it pushes on the earth. And then from that you can be able to adjust in terms of your exercises and uh, exposure. Dr. Joel Pukram, who is shown here, has written a lot about the support for not wearing sunglasses for melanin dominant human beings or tinted glasses or fashion or anything like that she says as melanin dominant individuals it is very important to realize that we must be exposed to the entire electromagnetic spectrum we do require ultraviolet radiation for health we have found however that ultraviolet radiation can be harmful for those individuals who are melanin recessive plants animals and the humans who are melanin dominant do not require ultraviolet violet radiation for maximum activity and stimulation of the hormonal and the metabolism the use of sunglasses tinted lens glasses tinted contact lenses eyeglasses and contact lenses that are not made from full spectrum material that is special transparent materials that will allow the full spectrum of light and ultraviolet to pass through it is quite harmful to the melanin dominant individuals this is the condition the reason why you must know whether you wear sunglasses or not or which type of sunglasses you must wear plants animals and melanin dominant individuals require this ultraviolet light requires it to survive and to live healthily on the light so remember you may not need to wear sunglasses if you are close to the natural range in terms of your eye color we'll come to that uh, shortly this book vitamins and minerals from a to z by dr joe pukram is very good for you to study and to have in your library because it will show you that melanin dominant human beings can see the full spectrum of all the light all of them that's but conditional on the color of their eyes we shall come again to that as i have already uh, promised please study this chart uh, very intently uh, this chart is a mathematical and pictorial demonstration of photonic vibration a rate of each uh, primary race present on the earth today this chart demonstrates uh, various spectrums of photon activity innately perceivable by each race. Now, there are beneficial actions that you can take concerning your eye health. You can get at least 60 minutes. You must get at least 60 minutes sunlight or daylight if the sun is not out or on your skin and eyes. But we have something to say about this. You do not look directly on the sun. You look in the heavens and you must see the blue skies and you must see the light of the sun. so you expose your skin to uh, sunlight and you don't use glasses look at the sky or out in the open not directly at the sun overall exposure in the early morning or sunset 
is ideal. If you feel that the sun is too strong for your skin, on your skin, wear light clothing, heads and, shed, and use the shade, tree shades. However, gradually increase your exposure until such time you, your skin and your eyesight, you no longer squint your eyes, is tolerable and pleasurable to you. The electromagnetic spectrum, this one, in summary about it, this is very interesting. You can see that this is the range we are dealing with here. This is the range we are dealing with, but you see that there is more when it comes to male and dominant eyes and in terms of what we see. In summary, light is one of the most important nutrients for melanin dominant individuals. Full spectrum light, including X-rays, cosmic rays, TV waves, radiant heat, long ultraviolet rays are important to the health of melanin dominant individuals. Capture that. It is recommended that a thorough study of light and its phenomenon and effect upon human life be undertaken by melanin dominant individuals and become part of the educational system in our schools and predominantly melanin dominant population. So you must engage in your studies, in personal studies and experiments so that you can know and come up with a lot of information about that. People on the earth used to have dark brown eyes. 6,000 or 10,000 years ago, other eyes and other colors started to appear. Blue, gray, green are a recent evolution of human physiology of the eyes. The mutation effected of this came from an OCA2 gene which is involved in the production of melanin, the pigment that gives color to our hair, our eyes and our skin. A genetic mutation affecting the OCA2 gene in our chromosomes resulted in the creation of a switch which literally turned off the ability to produce brown eyes. This is what was said by the scientist. We have given uh, the site where you can go and study. Therefore, what we know is that the oldest people on earth gave are uh, melanin dominant human beings who look like this. Within a range like that. Based upon mitochondria DNA, skin pigmentation, written history, rock pictures, bones, Asian languages, we know that melanin dominant people or human beings are authentic. They are also known as Negritians or Bantus. Melan dominant Africans are able to see the whole full visible spectrum of light frequencies, whereas melanin recessive people and neonates cannot be able to see that. What color of eyes then must wear sunshades? Whether you have a light or dark colored eyes, your eye color does actually have an impact on your vision. If you have a lighter eye color, your eyes are more sensitive to light because you have less uh, pigment and uh, melanin in your irises to protect you from uh, the sun. This means that you could have a greater risk of macular degeneration. Therefore, when you go to do your sunbath, you are aware of that fact. You then have to reduce the impact of that light, not by wearing sunshade, but by not looking at close to the sun. So you can do your sunbath in, at dawn when the sun is just coming up or sunset. Not any other time when the sun is the hottest. So what color is your eye? How do we know the color of the eye? What do we use to detect that this is your color? The color of your eye. This is the image of the eye. It is the iris. This one. Which is colored. The lens is crystalline. It's glassy. But it is hidden by the Cornea, a person's eye color results from the pigmentation of a structure which is known as the iris, which surrounds the small black hole in the center of the eye, which is called the pupil, and it helps to control how much light can enter into the eye. So the light goes there, as we see here through the pupil, and this is the iris and the limbus muscle and the blind spot somewhere here. The color of the iris ranges on a continuum from very light blue to dark brown. Dark brown or black was the original. Most of the time, the eye color is categorized as blue, green, hazel or brown. Brown is the most frequently eye color worldwide. Lighter colors have come recently as we have already seen and especially dominated by people of European ancestry. So what caused these variations? We are showing them here. All the variations. So ochre one, what is ochre? 
this one oka it is a uh, oculocutaneous albinism formerly the p gene this is what they are calling oka so it's a base it's albinism that's a powerful statement so you can be able to look at the eye and find that this person although a melanin dominant have got an albinoid aspect within their blood within their dna according to euro gender education Oka one is caused by an alteration of the heterocinous gene and can occur in two variations. The first is Oka 1A and means that the organism cannot develop pigment at all. The hair is usually white, often translucent, and the skin very pale. Vision usually ranges from 20 over 200 to 20 over 400. So is so you have got another Oka B and Oka 2 and many of them. So, the P protein is believed to be an integral membrane protein involved in small molecular transport, specifically tyrosinase, tyrosine, a precursor of melanin. Certain mutations in OCA2 result in type 2 oculocutaneous albinism. OCA2 and cause the human homologue of mouse P pink-eyed dilution gene. There are six more types of albinism for a total of seven that have so far been discovered. So, the original, you now can know which one is the original. So, we go on here on PubMed site again, where now they link the gene that we have identified that occurred 8,500 years ago and changed melanin dominant human beings to being Europeans or to be lighter or to be pale. This is the SLC24A5 I think if you watch our videos, many of our videos, we've gone through uh, this. And also SLC45A2. Oculoclitinous albinism is a heterogeneous and autosomal recessive disorder with hyperpigmentation in the eye, hair, and skin color. Four genes, TYR, OCA2, TYRP1, and SLC45A2 have been identified as causative genes for non-syndromic OCA1 to 4 respectively. So this is very clear. It's very straightforward. We are going to supply and give you the links that you can go and uh, study. And for all the above reasons that we have given, we melanin dominant people as a group or community should not wear sunglasses. And the reason is to have better health other than to look good or to be fashionable. We must be in the habit of maintaining our bloodlines within a melanin-dominant human range, not outside. There should never be any compromise on such a factor. Melanin-dominant people have all the eye color you can find in this world because we are the parent race of all human beings. So you got people with a blue eyes brown eyes which is the dominant one and black eyes which is the dominant one and others like pale or green and so forth so the treatment how you should behave you can read this book so that it can assist you to guide you on your eye health in summary therefore we must not wear sunglasses because we damage our eyes if we have the original melanin dominant eye type within the melanin dominant ranges by eye color it is the melanin in your eyes which we have identified already as seen in your iris the brown eyes original black dark eyes original and these we know they came later the, 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 the 6000 uh, bce or thereby so brown eyes most common eye color worldwide this varies between dark brown light brown and honey brown eyes blue People with blue eyes have less melanin in their eyes than any other color. Blue eyes are thought to come from a genetic mutation of one individual who have identified the source. Green, thought to be the most attractive and one of the rarest colors that you can find uh, among uh, people. Hazel, the hue of hazel eyes changes based on what you are wearing and the type of lighting you are in. Hazel eyes has a variety of colors. So, this is eye color and the health and the genetics and maintaining ourselves. So, for more information on what we can study and what we can learn and how we can uh, go about this, 
get in touch with us on join at marifado.com. This is Hamanaja Topi, Priest Jarabai, LM Tumizulu, Mjakanja Kunikan Mskawanu of Marifado, our inheritance, saying we should not just jump into fashion. We should know what we are doing. Till we meet again, have a great day. Tatenda Siabonga, Enkosi, Dupe, Asante Sana.